What's up WordPress nerds? In today's video, I wanted to go over the WordPress CLI with you. It's a tool that you're gonna reach for quite a bit if you don't know about it already. It lets you do a ton of different things to your WordPress site from the command line. So if you needed to do something like uh, scaffold a custom post type, install a theme, install a plugin, find and replace something in the database, this makes it super easy. Uh, but before we get started with that, I wanted to quickly shout out WP Scan. They have a plugin called WP Scan that does quite a bit in regards to security on your WordPress site. It basically gives you a hacker's eye view of your WordPress site. So if you have an out of date plugin or if you have an out of date theme and there's currently a known vulnerability on it, it will give you some instructions on what you can do to, to fix that, whether that's update or downgrade your, your current installation. So if you're interested in getting a hacker's eye view of your WordPress site, I strongly suggest checking out the WP Scan plugin. Link is in the description. Also, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so let's take a look at how we can install the WP CLI. I've got the documentation open. It's a very, fairly straightforward process here. Um, I'm gonna link this documentation um, page in the description so you can follow along if you need. Uh, first, we're going to uh, curl this file, um, the wpcli.far, and we can make sure that it's running by running the next command here on the list, php space wpcli.far space dash dash info. That's just going to execute that file with the info flag on it, and we're going to see something that looks a little bit like this. That means it's working. Uh, next, what we need to do is we need to be able to move this to our bin folder, so we can actually run the p uh, the WP command without typing out PHP WPCLI.far and all that kind of stuff and install it on every project. We want it to kind of be in a spot where we can always access, uh, be accessible to us. So we're going to do chmod plus x on that file that we just downloaded, and then we're going to move it to our user local bin. So once we do that, we're going to give it our password because we did sudo, and we should be able to do run have the WP command. So if I just type WP, all the options are going to uh, come up or I can clear it out and do WP dash dash info and we should get the exact same thing that we saw a minute ago. So now that that's done, um, I'm moving over to a new window where I have a WordPress installation. This is running on um, a SiteGround site and it's just a default WordPress site with the 2020 theme installed. The only difference is, is that it's on SiteGround. Um, I'm doing this because it's you know a server, a default server, nothing real special here. We're not having to do like SSH into a Docker container. We're not having to do any sort of like weird setup. It's just a hosting site. Um, and so what I've got is just this default uh, setup and we're gonna run a few commands on it to kind of see Get a little taste of what we can do with the CLI. Now, I want to put in a big warning here. This is not all encompassing. There's a lot more that we can do with this, and I'd really be interested in, in showing you guys more. But hey, I don't know how useful you're going to find this. So if you're not interested, that's totally fine. If you're interested in me going a little bit deeper in this, I'd be happy to do a, a more in depth tutorial here. Um, but let's see here. So we are in the root of our site and now we have access to that WP command. So if I do WP uh, dash dash info in this other terminal window, I, I can see that it's working. So uh, the first thing that I wanna show that we can do is some pretty simple things. So we have access to WP space plugin. So anything after WP um, is the command or the set of commands that you can run. So if we'd run WP plugin, we can kind of get an idea of what we can do with that. Um, and so the cool thing that we can do, well, lots of cool things, but the thing I'm gonna show you is WP plugin install. You can install a plugin from the command line here and WP installed WordPress uh, SEO. So you give it the um, WP, the, th the set of uh, commands that you want to do, the command you want to do, which is install, and then the slug of the WordPress plugin. And we will see here that it's giving us a little bit of a hint of 
what's going on behind the scenes and it looks like it had successfully installed that plugin for us. We refresh this page and we have Yoast SEO here. Now we don't want to have to click activate, right? Like that would be absurd. So we could do WP plugin activate WordPress SEO and then refresh this page and we have WordPress SEO activated for us. Um, we can also um, install themes. Um, let's go over to our themes folder. We just have a couple of themes installed here, uh, but let's say we want to um, install storefront. So WP theme install storefront. And so it's going to install storefront for us. And we can see that we have storefront over here on the right and same deal. Instead of install, we can do activate and it should switch the theme to storefront for us. And now we've got that. So if we check our site, I'm sure you believe me, but if we check the front end of our site here, it's going to have storefront. Uh, let's switch it back to 2020 real quick. And let me show you a few other commands. So let's clear this out. Another frequent command that I use is has to do with the transients. So WP transient, like when I you I work with transients a lot, caching data, good deal. Um, but sometimes I have to go in and like manually delete uh, transients out of the options table, which I don't want to do. Um, so what we can do is WP transient delete. Oops, um, it was supposed to be delete dash dash all. I usually delete all the transients at once and it will tell me um, how many have been deleted from the database. That way I'm not having to go cherry pick which ones I want to delete. And you're rarely going to be messing stuff up when you um, delete transients. Um, the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is um, when we have um, something that needs to get replaced throughout your content. So for example, here I have a post called No Touching. It says, my name was Buck Nasty, but now it's Alex. Um, and I'm super ashamed of what my name used to be, and I need to replace that throughout uh, my site. So what I need to do is I need to do WP search replace. And it's gonna just be the thing you're looking for and what you wanna replace it with. So in this case, we wanna do Buck and then it's going to be backslash n because we have a space there nasty or not and that's a new line i was just doing that earlier buck space uh, slash space nasty and we're going to replace that with alex so if we do that we're going to see that we made two replacements and if we refresh our page it's going to say my name was Alex, but now it's Alex. So now it doesn't make any sense, but we can see that the change was made. Um, one thing that you're going to want to remember here is that you can also pass in flags to these commands. So if we do WP search replace, we're looking for Alex and we're going to replace that with Tobias. You can do dash dash dry dash run. And so that's going to actually run the command, uh, command but ac not actually execute it. So it's instead of three replacements made, it says now three replacements to be made. And we can kind of look through here and see like, oh, that those three replacements are going to be coming through the post content table. And, and that's actually something that we want to do. So we'll just remove the dry run here and then re uh, refresh this. And we should now say my name was Tobias, but now it's Tobias. So we replaced all the instances of Alex and uh, changed it to Tobias. So those are some pretty darn simple commands that I think are pretty useful to, to the majority of people who work with uh, WordPress like I do. So there's obviously a ton more that I'd like to cover, kind of like I said, but not super sure on how much you guys would be interested. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to uh, have me show you a little bit more, leave a comment, uh, reach out to me on Twitter and let me know. I'd like to thank my patrons for um, supporting me and the channel. Um, we're going to be coming out with our third exclusive video here in the next week or so. Um, so if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see in exclusive patron videos, make sure you sign up and uh, hit me up there. Um, 
But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you in the next one.